Welcome back to the Get That Skate podcast. I'm Jack Main. Today I've got Mr. Max Heaton with us again. We're in Get That, of course. Love that. It's uh, quarter, to, quarter to 12 midday. I've got a black coffee. Max has a great northern. And we're here just to answer some questions. A little bit of fun. Why not? How are we, Max? Rapid fire. Good boss. Feeling how's fantastic. How did you sleep last night? Great. Wake Work up, up feeling a little bit dusty. Have a bit of brekkie. May have like spoken a story or two in my sleep, in but that's sleep. all good. Yeah, I heard something going on. Yeah. If you know Max <laughs> and you've spent the night with Max, you might have uh, heard him <laughs> sleep talking before. Um, so we thought, <laughs> just have a bit of fun, jump on, answer some questions. So if you watch the Get That Skate podcast, hopefully you follow us on Instagram too. From time to time, we'll put a little question box up, send your questions in, and uh, yeah, I'm going to try and try and answer them, edit them all in this time, <laughs> and make people feel special that we chose their questions. So I might just kick it off. Some funny ones, some serious ones. Mm-hmm. Um, Sun Sun Chin to Electric Boogaloo sent in. Can you kick your own head? You know, one day it may have been possible. Mm. Not these days. Might have to try it when we go for a skate after this. Yeah, we can upload it to Instagram. Look at that. Would be good to see. Yeah. I mean, it could be the new um, Aero Lid. What's the Facebook page? Aero Lid something. Yeah, full <laughs> Aero Lid and full face. You could put a full face on. And, and I'll um, try and kick just my kick head. kick it and see if the helmet works. Yeah. We can try. What helmet would you like that to be? If you could choose any one helmet. Should we just do the rosemary? <laughs> <laughs> Cos sent in Shout out to Cos Favourite country you've been And where do you want to go That you haven't been That's two questions Cos We only asked for one Dog Typical uh, First one Favourite country I've been Yep Obviously has to be Romania If you know me Okay yep What was the second one And where do you want to go That you haven't been mm, And you why know, Oh okay And why as well the person who I'll answer this for would hate me if I was to answer something else. Mm. So I'm going to say Taiwan. And shout out the person who told the world about Taiwan. Shout out, absolutely. And has been pushing it ever since. But I'd love to go. The roads look mad. Has a clock. G-Maps he's looks not, crazy. He's not at the table right now. I don't know why. He's usually co host Strange not having a co-host. Um, interesting. Yep. Interesting. Yeah. How do you prepare for a race? Junior Predron sent that in. How do I prepare for a race? Mm. I kind of don't. Mm. <laughs> you just show up? I kind of just show up. Yeah. Yeah. There's not much to it. Same, like, you know, business as usual. Yeah. Put your fresh wheels on. That's it. Check your trucks, check your nuts, check your helmet, and go, basically. Favorite like, race? Mm, difficult. I think mainly because I thoroughly enjoy the track mm-hmm. and the type of racing it brings, I'd have to say Vidikio. Yeah, nice. I'm the That's same. That's kind of yeah. my type awesome of race. racing, I guess. Yeah. Nothing too fast. Yeah. Some nice corners. See, I'm the same thing and has always gives me this little, oh, man. Oh, man, trust I'm not me, on mate. Level. <laughs> trust me. Um, another <laughs> one from cringing. Another one from Junior Pedron that was sent in. Um, best all-round longboard brand on the market. Now, I know that you're going to say get that skate. Obviously. Because it's obviously true. Obviously. But if we were talking not get that skate, what do you think is the best all-round longboard brand on the market? This is a bit controversial because you, you are affiliated and work <coughs> and ride for a bunch of different companies, so we might not be getting the best answer right now, but give us your answer anyway. I think uh, for it being all-round, yep. it kind of has to be Land Yachts. Yep. Um, Shout out Adam Yates, Dexter Manning. Yep, shout out to Yates, shout out to all the boys that, are, that ride for them. And that if are anyone from them. Land Yachts is listening, I feel like there could be more, at least one more Australian rider. Yeah, there could be like a photographer down here to help yeah. them out. I yep. don't know. Something we'll see like what that. happens, yep. Respond to an email maybe. Yeah, um, what are some other questions? <laughs> what else did we get? Thanks everyone for sending in some questions. Cheers okay. for sending in all the funny ones too. Not Matt Leo has a really good question. Not Matt Leo. Yeah. Okay. Not Matt Leo, at Not Matt Leo. Shout out to Matt Leo. Can you swim? Highly controversial topic of discussion, yeah, but is. I can't. 
You can't. I could. No lessons when you were younger? But I just won't. No hard lessons. But I just... Uh, just not getting right. over the fear of water. So, okay, <laughs> fear of water, understandable. Pool. What are you going to do when there's a pool? Get in? Well, have one, right? You get in? Where I live. Yeah. And I haven't been in it for quite some time. Are you talking years? We're probably talking years. Wow. But ocean's a big no. Hell no. Yeah. Not a chance. Right. The beach, hate it. Sand, gross. Hostile NPC. When are you going to free ride again? What do you mean, mate? I'm always free riding. Yeah, what do you mean, what mate? Do I, what does that mean? I try. Yeah. I'll be back eventually. You prefer putting your hand down? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, why not? I don't really need Who to cares? do stand-up slides. That's it. At least you're out there having a good time. Facts. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jules Sherman. Shout out to Jules Sherman. Um, Cheers, Jules. Yeah, Julian organized Yara with a bit of help. And he's uh, he's still going hard organizing, trying to get the Australian, doing more. Australian downhill scene. Um. You know, with some fun events. So he Absolutely. has a question. Best icing moment <laughs> on tour? Uh, hopefully tell, they're watching tell, the podcast. Tell the story. Uh, ho- hopefully they get to watch the podcast. And yep. It'd be pretty funny if they are watching it. But 2016, uh, I was living with Tony Graves. Yep. And it was time for me to disembark and leave the ashtray and go about, you know, the tour and whatnot. Yep. So, Mike Fitter and Aiden and uh, Justin Reading said it would be funny mm. to get a few metric bats. And if everybody knows what that is, it's just a gigantic ice. And they had, it was two of them to begin with. So, the first one, so, you know, we're all saying bye and whatnot. My bags are like out front, all packed up, ready to go. Ready to, ready to rumble, Dubai, go yeah. to the airport, you know, have a good flight to San Francisco. Yep. San Fran across. I think I think I was going to Killington at that point, but um, one of the one of the big ices is behind my two bags. So mm-hmm. when I went to go move my two bags, put them in the back of the car, it was there. So I was like, "Shit, boys, all right, I'll I'll take it in and smack this one." They got yeah. But whilst I was doing that, mm-hmm. they placed another one in the boot of the car. No. So when I turned around and picked up my bags to go put them in the boot of the car, yeah, there was just another one staring at me. Yeah. So I punched through as much of it as I could. And then, admittedly, because it's mm. a lot of liquid, it's a lot of alcohol for, you know, an empty stomach. Yeah. Admittedly, I got to almost the end and Mike Fitter, out of pure sympathy, she said, shit, Maxie, oh, I think I'll have to help you. Yeah. So, yeah, I was, I was assisted in the end there, but I was c- considerably black out for the first flight <laughs> and wobbling as I went yeah. up to the desk. But, yeah. That was a pretty good one. Just for the people who are listening to get that skate podcast, you might not know what an ice is. Can you explain to the people out there worldwide, of <sighs> course, what <laughs> icing is? It's an art form, obviously. Yep. And a, a prank game, as you will. Yep. Um, where you get to hide and or place um, a Smirnoff ice. Okay. Or, or something similar. Yep. Because, you know, not every country has them. Yep. Um, yeah, you hide it. Whoever finds it, no matter what, it can be targeted. It can be random. Yep. Um, if you find one, just got to take an ant and smack it, basically. Some people smack them really well. Yeah. There are others out there, though. Just got to get on with it. Yeah. That choke on a bottle. So <laughs> here's an interesting question. Um, shout out to Calvin Skinner. Uh, sponsors, oh, one. sponsor switch that you regret and or feel weird about in hindsight. Because you've, you've tried your fair share of products. Absolutely. You've done a lot to help out the co- all those companies along the way. I think the main thing that I make sure of before I decide on leaving yep. and whatnot and feel like my time is up there is just to, I guess, come to terms with the fact that I, what I don't like about the company is, you know, worthy of me leaving. Yeah. So there's always something that kind of like irks me for a while, yeah, and then I'll make the decision. Like I'm not really belonging here, so I've never really felt bad, yeah, about leaving somebody. Fair enough. Like really ever, because mm. I, I know I'm going to a better place, mm. whether it be not a sponsor at all, yeah, and I get to just ride whatever I want, which is always good. Which is always good because yep. there's always like sometimes a little bit of a break in between that, yeah, where you get to do whatever you want. But for the most part, never really feel weird. It is what it is. Fair Life enough. goes on. Um. 
What else do we have? Favorite place to race. We've gone through that. Yeah. Favorite place to visit. Just forgetting the race. Favorite place to visit. I think a while ago, my favorite place to visit would have been like Vancouver, BC. Yeah. Like getting out of Canada because I was doing it a little bit. Yeah. And it was just really sick. But we haven't been back in a while, admittedly. Mm. Um, so I don't know. I kind of, I've kind of like become. I've just been been enjoying traveling Australia a lot more yeah. recently yep. as well because of COVID and any, whatnot. Any states you haven't been to? You've been down in Tassie. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. I've basically been everywhere yeah. except the only place. Obviously, I'm not counting NT, but the only place I've never been to skate is is South Australia. So I'd really like yeah, to get to Adelaide. I think that um, for you know, sure, with not being able to travel, I think it's time us Australian skateboarders maybe start talking about and organising a trip down to Radelaide. Dude, Radelaide. Um, pretty iconic spot in Australia if you're looking at the history of Australian downhill skateboarding. There yeah, was dude, Kevin Rahm has done a run there. Kevin Rahm has been out there. Crazy. They used to hold the Collin Grove Cup, which was a yep. race there with basically a wall ride. Um, yeah. Some really good skateboarders coming out of that state. So, And it's somewhere I've never been either. I know, um, I know Ian Coggan went probably eight years ago now, mm. had a ripper of a time, but, you know, that's eight years ago and everyone's progressed so much. I think that's something we uh, get moving on. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'll go back because, like, Charlie Harris and whatnot, are like, you know, the boys are kind of backing around it. So yep. it'd be sick to get there. Yeah. Absolutely. Who's the biggest, insert bad word here, you know, and why is it not me? Sent in by Hazza Clark. Well, shit. Obviously it's Haz. Yeah. <laughs> out of anybody that I ever travel with and or have had the pleasure of hosting. Absolutely. Has is definitely up there for being the biggest insert bad word here. Um, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's a character. What about, um, this is Dave Skates from Austria. Um, constant get that wearer. Shout out to Dave. Shout out. Fave, yeah, I see that too. Fave trucks and why? Like in, in forever. tough one mm. i don't know i've ridden a lot of trucks yeah I have, have. Ri- I have actually i've ridden a lot of trucks and gone back to a lot of trucks so what's the truck do you th- you think you've rode the most probably either the paris yep. savant um or like not a particular model but brand ronin yep for for a long time and what are you riding at the moment nothing um yep. <laughs> i'm about to ride rogues okay yeah, I've been yep. waiting on rogues for quite some time. Oh, so yeah, I've heard a few people have been. Yeah, yep. exactly. Just Australian things. But nice. yeah, I'll yep. be going back to rogues. I had a really, really good time on them in 2018. Yeah. I had um, I had a black set whilst I was transitioning out of Paris. Okay. I um was trying some rogues um, because at the time, like, I was like a, I was like, I don't know, flow for, like, for Venom. Yeah. So I was able to get some some rogues and try them out. And I had a yeah, really sick time. But then ended up, um, yeah, selling them to my good mate, Dan Waterhouse. Shout out to he, Dan uh, Waterhouse from New wanted Zealand. Wanted some trucks. Yeah. So that was the end of my rogue journey. But yeah, no, going back to them. It's going to be sick. Yeah. Yeah. What else do we have? What's your favorite board sent in by So? I mean, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. Um, my Bowie knife board from Descent. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Love it. And how much, because I... I know that's, you know, the Aussie board. How much of the design process were you a part of? All of it? Did basically you- from, yeah, from start to finish, basically. Yeah. Uh, at the time, uh, myself, Josh and yep. Davis were riding for Descent and we wanted a board. Yep. We, we were riding like the original Big Red. Okay. Which for those of you who don't know was back when Descent boards were all wood. Yeah. Like no urethane and just like colored carbon top and bottom. Nice. So we had ridden that board at Killington in 2018, brought them home, skated them obviously, but Josh and I mainly were talking about things we would change. Why would we, like, why would we change them and whatnot? Yep. So I kind of went to Tanner and said, look, the board's mad. Yep. Love it. But Josh and I are too big for this thing. Yeah. It's like, it's not working out. I think it was, was Mateo used to ride the big red and putting it next to a bow knife. It's like, yeah, the big red was significantly different. Tiny. Tail was tiny. Yeah. That was the big thing. The Josh and I went over heaps, dude. Like the 
whole positioning for your yeah. trucks, for mounting your trucks, was like not right for us for the shape. Yeah. Like we found we were like standing over the wing up yeah. front, which wasn't working out. So yeah, went to Tan. I said, "Oi, kind of want to change this, this and that." Yeah. And he said, "Draw me a shape, send it to me. Send me dims that you want, and then we'll get you a proto." Yeah. Right. So it started there, and then yeah, d- I think uh, I think at that time Davis actually was in Colorado like for the V2. Okay, yeah. So he brought to Europe that year like a, an update, but I was still riding the V1. Yeah, right. So we changed a little bit here and there, and like Davis and Josh like got the first ones, and then I got mine. Um, I got my V2, which I'm still riding today, just like just before C Games, I think. Yep. Yeah, so I took it over to Sea Games and got to skate it because I changed the concave. Um, so that was cool as. Um, and then now we have V. Well, now I have V three in the works. Yeah. So Josh and I again have lightly discussed it, what yeah. we would change. Spoke to the boys about how they wish to see the Bowie knife because yeah. it's also important for a manufacturer to you know agree with you. Yeah, sure. So we made some changes and and came to some agreements about the width and whatnot. So yeah, we'll be getting that soon, hopefully, which will be sweet. And in, in, a, in a updated construction. Which would be sick. Yep. And I know we've said it before, but shout out to Tanner from Descent. Shout out. Cheers, so, lad. It's so sick as a brand owner myself, seeing across the country and across the world how many people love your boards. It's it's pretty unreal feeling, especially when you're on the other side of the world. Like when I see people over in Europe and, and America, North America where and get that, it's like, man. Very sick. Doing something good here. I'm sure Tanner feels the same about yeah, his boards. Absolutely. So what Sethi. Um, there's a couple concaves for the Bowie knife, right? What are the concaves? There's been a couple. Yep. There's now only one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So way back in the day, way back in the day, um, you had the choice of two. Yep. So like there was, because we back then descent like didn't have, I guess like the resources to make an individual concave for each individual board, yep. which is how we ideally want to operate now. Um, there was two, there's like team rocket drop, which is what I'm on right now. Yep. So like super mellow tub concave with two micro drops at the end yep really nice comfortable skateboard to ride I just like as your the daily one. my descent has that concave potentially yeah potentially have you um, got mine comfortable okay so my v1 was a different concave yeah my v1 was an at like a softed like softer adaptation of tanner's concave yeah so tub front and then w rear with no micro drops like it was a true top mount board yeah so that was cool. Yeah, nice. So I rode that V1, but I was like, I just this is hectic. There's yep. a lot for me. And it's and it was really wide too. It, it, it ended up coming out of the CNC at like 9.4 or 9.5, like yeah, at, right. at its widest. And riding 106 mil trucks and or 130 the, mil Savants, it was a bit weird. The V3 is coming in at... All the way eight, down to 8.9. 8. 8.9, yep. Mainly because like Josh and I have gone now, both of us, to trucks that are like... Or Josh was on like 119, I think, yep. and I'm going down to 106 again. 106. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Maybe a bit of a wider front. But, yeah, 8.9 should be good. Yep. We both have like, I don't know, average size feet. So yep. it works out for both of us no matter what. Yeah, right. Which is sweet. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. So, um, L. Ron James sent in to Haz, I believe. Heaton looks different, like a puppy version of how he skates, then in brackets, which is someone on meth. How do you feel about that comment? Sus ass. <laughs> so sus. <laughs> Bleep. <laughs> so we got um, Spark Oz sending another one through to get that. What sets you off the most? Mm, there's a range of things that set yep. me off real bad. I don't know. I think... I think currently the thing that sets me off the most is when companies feel like it's okay to use your photos mm. when it's not yeah, and use it for, I guess, like advertising their, like their specific product. Yeah. That, what, that's what irks me yeah. for sure. Not a rider. They're, they're saying like, yeah, this is a sick bloody truck or whatever. Yeah. And not how sick the rider is. That kind of irks yeah. me. Yeah. Happened a, a few bit. times. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Won't name and shame. Um, and last question sent in from Liam Centerfold at Liam Centerfold. Uh, what happened to AHR? Thanks, Liam. Um, it depends who you ask. Mm. <laughs> Cause there's like some differing stories about it all, but my side of the story is that we kind of like dropped off as a group, mm. dropped off. Yep. Um, and then the owner who whose name is Christian 
kind of didn't kind of got like caught up doing other things mm. and then like didn't really want to do skateboarding a anymore bit of real life yeah sure a bit of real life if yeah. that's what we want to call it but yeah i don't know too busy for us and then wouldn't i guess like let us upload through the hr skate youtube page but yeah it would be nice to, it would have been nice to do that back in the day i probably wouldn't do it now so but they yeah. didn't want more content yeah, well, they were like over with skateboarding, I guess. Okay, then makes sense. Yeah, uh, not really. <laughs> um, yeah, awesome. So, thanks everyone for sending in questions. Thank you. Um, it's just interesting just to have a chat about different topics rather than things that I can come up with. So, uh, yeah, thanks for jumping on again, Max. Mm. It's been a pleasure as always. Absolutely. Thanks for um, having me. Shout out to everyone who watches the podcast. Again, I'm going to say it every time. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you ever see, uh, you know, one of us boys post up a question thing for the podcast just send in whatever you got whatever you got because these these question ones are fun it kind of you know it's a bit more relaxing not so much a one-on-one interview or yeah just get through some questions and you know people get their answers but shout out to everyone who wears get that watches the podcast um downhill skateboards and yeah www.getthatskate.com if you want to support us thanks for watching we'll see you next time